In this tutorial, I will explain the different types of enclosures and what IP ratings are. This subject is not specific LoRa or LoRaWAN related, but I find it interesting enough to make a tutorial. Your electronic project can be put inside an enclosure. These enclosures are called project boxes, PVC boxes, ABS boxes, plastic boxes, electronic boxes, etc. These enclosures are made of plastic or a metal. When plastic is used, it is often ABS or PVC. ABS is always black and PVC is white or gray. ABS and PVC can be used above or below the ground, but ABS is more likely to deform when exposed to the sun. Both plastics are resistant to chemical and water degradation. ABS is highly durable with high impact strength. PVC is less durable. It is flexible and softer than usual plastics. For metal enclosures, often steel, stainless steel or aluminium is used. LoRaWAN outdoor gateways often uses PVC or die cast aluminium enclosures. Die casting is a metal casting process where molten metal under high pressure is forced into a mold cavity. There is no international standard for these enclosures. If you have a 3D printer, you can print your own enclosure or you can just buy one. Enclosures have no mounting possibilities or have some slots to slide appropriately sized PCBs or have built-in standoffs to attach the PCB using self-tapping screws. If there are no mounting possibilities, drill holes in the enclosure and attach the PCB to the enclosure with screws and standoffs. Here are some examples. These are PVC enclosures. This enclosure has no pre-drilled holes. And this enclosure has pre-drilled holes. And these holes can be closed off using these plastic screws and nuts. These are nylon screws, nuts and standoffs to attach the PCB to the enclosure. IP ratings. IP stands for ingress protection and IP ratings defines level of sealing effectiveness of electrical enclosures against intrusions from solids, meaning hands, tools, dirt, etc. and water. IP ratings are defined in the international standard EN 6529. The IP rating consists of two numbers. The first number specifies the level of protection against solids, that is this number, and the second number specifies the level of protection against water, that is this number. And here's an example of an IP rating, IP67. So IP67, the first number 6 refers to solids protection level. The first digit is 6, which means it is dust tight. So no ingress of dust, a vacuum must be applied, and test duration of up to 8 hours based on airflow. The second number is 7, which refers to water protection level. So number 7, that is this number, it means protection against the effects of immersion in water between 15 centimeters and 1 meter for 30 minutes. IP ratings are assessed in lab conditions, which means they can't always account for real-life situations. Some manufacturers err on the sides of caution and will not highlight a product's IP rating or will understate the level of protection. Here is an example. This is the REC Wireless Outdoor Gateway Enclosure with five N-type antenna connectors. More information about this gateway enclosure, see this link. This gateway enclosure has IP rating 67. I have searched Google for photos how these gateways are generally protected against water and dust. I could not find any detailed photos. So I have contacted REC Wireless and asked them if they can provide me with detailed photos about this particular enclosure. In the next slides you will see these photos. This is an aluminium enclosure with five N-type connectors. And this is the connector for the Ethernet cable. As you can see it has a rubber ring. Again the same rubber ring. 
So these are n-type connectors and this is also an n-type connector. These n-type connectors are the same as this n-type connector. And you see a groove over here, which is intended for a rubber ring. And this n-type connector is this n-type connector with this rubber ring. This is the connector for the ethernet cable. And if we look at this connector, it consists of these parts to seal the ethernet cable. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.